Red Eli. Today is September 28, 2023. Here are your latest church mill and headlines. The Biden administration is proposing a rule that will require states to transfer foster children from families who do not affirm their gender identity. According to the rule, foster parents will be guilty of neglect or abuse if they restrict a child's access to sex change surgeries or puberty blockers, including children younger than 14. Joe Biden praised the rule in a press release Wednesday, saying the regulations will protect LGBTQI plus youth in foster care from abuse and mistreatment and ensure they have the services they need to thrive. Donald Trump is slamming Biden over his push for electric vehicles. Speaking Wednesday to a crowd of auto workers in Michigan, Trump warned the Biden administration's effort to promote more electric vehicles and shift away from fossil fuels is bad news for the car industry. This while United Auto Workers are still on strike. Biden's mandate isn't a government regulation. It's a government assassination of your jobs and of your industry. The auto industry is being assassinated. And it makes no difference what you get. I don't care what you get in the next two weeks or three weeks or five weeks. They're going to be closing up and they're going to be building those cars in China and other places. A Polish bishop is calling for reparation after priests were caught having a gay orgy with a male prostitute. Bishop Gregory Kazak issued a statement Saturday inviting priests to offer masses in reparation after a gay escort had a medical emergency during a sex party last month at a priest's apartment. Police and paramedics forced entry into the apartment. The local prosecutor is now investigating the priest for failing to assist someone needing medical attention since they refused to let paramedics in the door. A conservative advocacy group is calling on the Senate to deny military promotions for nominees who embrace leftist initiatives. The Citizens for Renewing America denounced dozens of nominees engaged in promoting so-called diversity, equity, and inclusion, as well as the LGBT agenda. The group's executive director commented, these military officers are also pushing race-based and sex-based promotion, which is a violation of federal law. They should be court-martialed, certainly not promoted. The Super Bowl halftime show will again have content that's concerning to parents. Pop singer Usher, headlining the 2024 halftime show in Las Vegas, intends to have pole dancers at the performance. But a source told Page Six the dancers will be, quote, tastefully dressed. Music videos and stage shows of the popular performer often feature erotic dancing and explicit language. I'm Brad Eli. Those are your Church Milton headlines. Please watch the Vortex today where Michael talks about Marxism in American newspapers. God bless you.